You've got a pretty amazing rock, like traditional rock voice as well. That's powerful and great. And yeah, how did you kind of get into the whole thing as well? I actually come from a musical family. My mother has a music school, so she she teaches piano seven days a week. Was a singer, a dancer, a choreographer, all that kit and caboodle. And my dad was a bass player, so I kind of grew up in it. And um, I stayed clear for it for a couple of years just to see if I could do anything normal I don't know whatever that is. who needs a day job yeah so uh, I did that for a couple of years and then just went what the hell am I doing and um yeah I just got back into it all um my favorite rock singers would have to be skin from skunk Nancy uh yeah and oh, Chrissy yeah. Amphlett of course her, her persona everything about her is just incredible uh of course baby animals you know good old Susie She's such a babe. Like, she's just a stone-cold fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. She's, I love her to death. Yeah. And I just got more enjoyment. I mean, I did a lot of musical theatre and I did a lot of different stuff, but I just got more enjoyment out of being, you know, real, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, that's where it all came from. Your song recommendations for the people out there searching the YouTubes and so on. Are there any kind of songs that you would recommend as professional musicians? I, I recently went back into the, the Led Zeppelin catalogue, and I know it's everyone knows and whatever, but really when you when you delve deep, that's it's everything is there. Well, Bennett actually recently did the Led Zeppelin uh, big Led Zeppelin night in Melbourne. So what was tell us a bit about the night and who oh, was involved? In it? Uh, well, it's it's a uh, it's a huge show. It's been going for about twelve years. I saw it many years ago. In fact, it's Actually, yes. well seeked in. I actually Sorry. forgot about this. It's where I first saw Virginia oh, sing. Really? Yeah, yeah. So, so she was playing the Zeppelin show. She was at State Theatre singing her ass off, chasing you know one of the best guitarists in Australia around. And we were like, who the fuck is this girl? Literally, I said those words. Who the fuck is that girl? And uh, here we are in a band together. But uh, anyway, I got a chance to do the show, and uh, it was in Melbourne. We got to do a show in Geelong and played the Palais. The extent of their musicianship, the the. It just blew me away. It really fucked me up. It did. I had to spend like a week like just sitting on it. It was just, it was amazing. Do you remember that night, Virginia? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just moved, um, I just moved back to Sydney and um, yeah, got a phone call to go and sing at the Emmore and I was like, yeah. Um, didn't know you were in the audience, there you go. You didn't know this happened no. till just then. I think, well, I really feel like the international community is starting to take note. Like I was talking to um, the guys from Metal Hammer came out here recently and we're just saying how exciting it is, what's coming out of here and it really feels like a bit of a return back to, you know, the, the Australian rock glory days. <laughs> how has this been a unique experience for you, Christian, this whole band? Yeah. Oh, just, just the, the characters that I've been involved with. It's, yeah. they're all, everyone's an individual here, which is fantastic. You know, like any band, everyone has different interests. So for me, like, you know, uh, really influential and, you know, one of my favourite bands was Cog. Great example of a band that, you know, worked their fucking ass off for so many years and, you know, deserved to hit the big time. And, they, you know, like over 10 years they had the hard slog and they got some great success, but they deserve more. It's interesting to sort of, you know, correspond, you know, that in Australia and, you know, how it would have gone overseas and everything else. So... You know, to try and reflect back on, you know, what it's like for us. We're very, you know, we're a young band. Um, but, you know, that's, that's what it's about. You know, slogging it out and giving it a go and seeing what happens. But uh, fucking earth, we need some more rocking fucking, you know. I think, yeah, I mean, Skin from Skunk and Nancy, that's an amazing reference point. I mean, yeah, just for that kind of raw thing. And as well, I'm, I'm not going to ask you anything lame about being a female musician because that's lame. Um, but it is good to see, you know, these uh, things be told through female voices as well. Absolutely. I think, you know, women can be more honest about things, you know. We're, we're, <laughs> um, we're all liars. <laughs> Pretty much. No, um, uh, you know, and I think I think it's refreshing when you see a woman up there, you know, giving a bit of balls attitude. Um, 
Well, especially, you know, we've been so inundated with uh, – yeah, yeah. inundated yeah. with so many um, – ridicu- not ridiculous, you know, good on them, but, you know, Taylor Swift's and your, your Katy Perry's and, you know, it's all bubble cum. Along. Aggressive marketing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Um, so bubble get- <laughs> No, but it's true. No, but it's true. There aren't many ro- – like rock, a rock voice is a very different animal to a pop voice and it's a lot more about emotion right. and about – and it's strength and, yeah. I think that's why Pink is so respected and, and loved, you know, because she just puts her balls on the line and says it how it is and then there's no fear about it. Yeah. And, um, you know, hopefully that's what I can sort of bring as well is just yeah. no fear and just get out there and do it. I think it's really important to kind of be out there doing it and, you know, yeah, kind of saying to other women that – yeah, this is a fun time. You get to like, you know, roll around in a van with a bunch of dudes and it's just so exciting. There's no, no vans anymore. It's all flying. Yeah, it's all flying. The pri- well, I mean, it, it's mainly the jet. Um, we went to the Middle East um, in, when was that? December oh, last year. Yeah, yeah, December. Yeah, in December. That's wild. It was insane. It so was really good. That was, was a life-changing experience, that one. What, what were the crowds like? What were, yeah. The crowd, well, it's, yeah. it's kind of weird because, you know, they're all on base. Um, and then afterwards <laughs> it was just like, oh, shit. Like, we didn't really expect them to be like, give us a T-shirt and, you know, can we buy a CD? And, and rocking up to a gig in a tank, that's kind of cool. Yeah, well, that's yes. the way to go. Forget yes. the limo. You can't sing the blues from the back of a limo, but you can <laughs> sing rock and roll from a tank. Absolutely. Oh, oh, yeah. It was yeah. insane. So, you guys became a four piece. We auditioned new guitarist, and um, it, 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 nothing kind of gelled. So, we went, you know what? Let's, you know, we've been working at it for this long. Let's yeah. just try it as a four piece. It totally works. Like, are you guys writing any new stuff or? Yeah, we've been, um, we're recording at the moment our album, our first full length album, which is kind of exciting. Um, it's become more melodic, not sort of heading metal. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and it's more band oriented. Uh, we had a few setbacks throughout the year. Manny, like, completely fucked his hand. But Sorry, it looks great now. Yeah. And then I fell in love. And, That's and nice. Then, Are you writing love songs? I know, right? <laughs> it's all going to be like, like oh, this song. sucks. I oh, can't right. write fucking so I just write anymore. one sweet child of mine. You'll be sweet. Oh, no more yeah, words. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just no more words. Actually, be Maddie has been a great help. He's yeah. um, contributed a lot in the in the album um, recording. He's been writing some lyrics as well. So tell us about your drum skins you all. I draw in my spare time, and I decided that I would kind of just create some shit on um, Bennett's drum skins. We auctioned the first couple and like I said, oh, the first auction's going for a hundred bucks. <laughs> and then someone went, 120, 130. And these hands just kept popping up in the audience. We're like, fuck, really? What, what, what? what? Hey, so the fishmonger, fishmonger. that's for you. Oh, that thank you. Yes. Oh, you fucking run. We call that the Christina skin. Oh, look yes. at you. This is Lily. This is Brutality. Party on. <laughs> 